tulipata public petition kutoka mbunge wa Narok East eh, ikuwe imetoka kwa wananchi ambapo shida kubwa ilikuwa ni barabara ya kutoka mahali inaitwa Arashia kwenda Elsgate kwenda na kufika na Ifasha kwa sababu wamekuwa na shida ya hiyo barabara vile wataruka kwa sababu ya Elsgate National Park na vile mnajua National Park IS tumika kama kufungu barabara ni mahali imefungwa lakini njia ya the alternative route ya mwananchi kwenda na naifasha mpaka azunguka ende Narok ndio akarudi ambayo itakuwa more than 100 kilometers so tumekuwa na kikao na stakeholders hapa tumekuwa na tumekuwa watu wa Kenjen kwa sababu the Jodamo plant which is a multimillion program iko hapa katika Hellsgate tumekuwa na kikao na watu wa KWS kwa sababu ndio in charge wa Hellsgate na pia wanasaidia usalama wa the Jodamo plant tumekuwa na watu wa Serian kwa sababu they are serious uh, uh, stakeholders kwa hii program na tumeongeleshana pamoja na viongozi wa wananchi mheshimiwa na wazee wa hapa anarasha na tumekubaliana ya kwamba tuko na mambo short term yenye itasaidia wananchi waache wa kuangaika kutoka kesho na tuko na the long term ambayo pia itaanza haraka pia isaidie wananchi kwa within the next six months na nataka niseme hii tumesema the immediate one tumewaachia eh, the commander wa, wa KWS hapa Hellsgate anaangalia vile wananchi wanapita kutoka Arasha kwenda kupitia Hellsgate kwenda Naifasha na hiyo tumekubaliana wananchi wako na free eh, movement lakini controlled kwa sababu ya security ya wildlife na security ya the geothermal installation number two, tumekubaliana eh, movement ya wananchi on eh, motorbikes kwamba wanaweza pita bila shida number three, which is eh, just a very short term eh, agreement at measure to support what we are doing as a committee we have seen it fit and uh, i will be communicating this to the minister in charge of wildlife ya kwamba we get uh, a matatu sako to register through this uh, the deputy county commissioner uh, narok east to register with the with the warden in charge of uh, e Elsgate national park tupate matatu zenye zinajulikana na komanda wa hapa za kupitisha watu kutoka Arasha kwenda Elsgate kwenda na, na, na Ifasha kutoka na Ifasha kurudi Elsgate kurudisha watu Arasha ndo watu wasiumie na Arasha na, na hiyo tumekubaliana na itakuwa katika uenyekiti wa county commissioner akifanya kazi karibu na yule komanda wa KWS katika Hellsgate. Tumekubaliana pia eh, siku tatu eh, ya wanyama kwa sababu hapa jamii ya hapa ni wamasai na wanatengemea ngombe katika biashara zao na ekonomi yao. Tumekubaliana vile OSPD eh, komanda wa Kenya Wildlife na wazee wa kijiji vile watu watapitisha ngombe haya wa masiku tatu ndio watu wakuwa wanaweza uza ngombe na ifasha siku ya Jumatatu siku ya Alhamisi na siku ya Ijumaa ngombe inaweza kuwa inapita inaenda kuuzwa na na ifasha na wananchi at least ikuwe wanasaidika wananchi hapa wamekuwa exploited kwa miaka mingi ngombe ambayo na ifasha inanunuliwa 70000 broker anakuja hapa na kununulia 20 kwa sababu hauna nafasi ya kupitisha njia kwenda na ifasha lakini kutoka leo eh, kwa ukarimu na, na ile busara iko na wafanyakazi wa KWS watatafuta njia yenye haitadhuru eh, national park yenye haitadhuru geothermal plant lakini itasaidia wa, wa mifugo ya wananchi wa Masai wanarasha kila Jumatatu 
kila alamisi kila ijumaa kupita kwenda kuuza na na, na ifasha ndio wasaidike kwa mifugo yao si hapo ni sawa sawa ya mwisho tumekubaliana mkutano next week mkutano mkubwa kwa long term solution kuna barabara iko katikati ya Eosgate National Park na Oserian na wamesukuma wote e, Oserian wamesukuma mpaka yao ikakaribia park park pia imesukuma mpaka ikakaribia karibu ile barabara ipotee kwa hivyo tunatakaa chini na waziri na directors wa, wa KWS na, na alafu watu wa Oserian na watu wa Kenjen na the, the DCC wa Narok West next week Narok East next week tukubaliane kuanza next week hiyo barabara ifunguliwe na hiyo barabara ikifunguliwa hii shida sasa tumewaachia komanda wa KWS hapa ya kusumbuana na wananchi kwa park kusumbuana na ngombe kusumbuana na matatu itakuwa imeisha kwa sababu tutakuwa tumepata a public road yenye iko nje ya park na hiyo ni kitu tutaanza mara moja kama committee hiyo ndio mambo tumeona kwa ground na ndio mambo tumepitisha kwa ground lakini pia tutaendelea na na, na, na kusikiza wananchi baka tutoe report yetu so we are meeting the minister for in charge of wildlife and uh, the person in charge of uh, the jodamo plant in uh, elsgate and uh, the people in charge of uh, oserian uh, uh, company limited so that cause we have this road between oserian and kw and uh, uh, Elsgate and the road has been blocked so we have we've agreed the road has to be opened from next week so we will have a stakeholder meeting of the senior officers including the minister in charge of wildlife so that we can have the road opened for free movement of public and also livestock because the livestock market in this area has been affected because of uh, the restrictions in conserving the Hellsgate National National Park and also the Jadamo plant. Kwa hivyo wananchi mukae mushirikiane na KWS, mushirikiane na DCC, mushirikiane na OSPD ndio yale mambo nayo tumekubaliana msije mkachokoza serikali ianze kuageuka. Tunakubaliana hapo? Tumekubaliana. Tumechukubaliana kuna mzee ya kijiji amekuwa kanza la miaka tano ye yeah, atakuwa chama ni ya hiyo mpango aenda akae chini hapa huyu mzee yetu akae chini na wakubwa naye achuke vijana wake wawaje kuingiza ngombe kwa park alafu anaenda kulewa wanawaachia askari ya KWS kuwalishia ngombe kuwafungia ngombe hiyo 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 mzee iishe sio si hapo tuko sawa sawa wacha nifikishe hapo tumeomba na kitu ya muhimu chenye tunaomba ni community policing wananchi mzee kansala yes. wewe tafuta wazee mkae chini na huyu komanda wa KWS mkae chini na DCC mkae chini na OSPD kwa sababu the Yodamo plant within Elsgate is a very serious insulation in our country msaidie kwa mambo ya community policing asanteni sana i think uh, sisi kama watu wa Naro East Uh, between Narok East and Naivasha uh, constituencies tumekuwa tukiumia kwa miaka mingi sana tangu tukiwa watoto uh, tumekuwa kama constituency ambayo iko landlord ni kama tu Rwanda ambayo haina ocean huwezi toka kwenda pale pengine na watu wetu wamekuwa wakiumia wamama hawezi fika ba, uh, hospitali kwa sababu mabarabara zimefungwa Uh, hakuna public matatu ambayo zinasafirisha watu wetu kupeleka uh, Naivasha na Naivasha ni pale karibu sana kwetu so tunashukuru sana kwa sababu ya kukuja kusikia kilio ya watu wetu i think this is where to go na niliwasikia juzi mkiwa um, pale watu wa ambao wanaharibu uh, the river ah, the river the other river na naona mnafanyia kazi mzuri e, nchi hii uh, na santeni sana Mungu awabariki kile tu tunahimiza watu wetu 
ni kwa sababu hii ni uh, national park tutii sheria pia ya national park kwa sababu national park ni kitu mzuri kwetu uh, kwa hii nchi na hasa kwa nini iko karibu na, na kwetu lakini pia ningependa kuambia watu wa national park juzi kuna ngombe zetu ambazo muli muli sukuma na mkapeleka mbali na mkaachilia wanyama ikakula tafadhali hiyo unajua sisi tu, tuko tu na ngombe kama hasa that's our livelihood lakini mkiachilia mkinyanganya mki mkipeleka ngombe alafu mnaachilia haina sisi kukula i mean hamsaidii watu wetu inatakiwa kama mnashika ngombe mtafute kama ni pale ya kuweka muweke mfungie badala ngombe tena kuachilia hiyo ngombe ikuliwe because haitapatia sisi uhusiano mzuri tutakuwa tukizozana lakini ningesema uh, please we just need to have to live in cohesion na together uh, so that uh, whatever happens watu wetu wasiumie na paki siumie pia for Oserian na wale watu ambao wa KWS tafadhali kama kuna barabara hapo mutupatie barabara ambayo ni ya public so that watu wetu waweze kufika Naivasha easily na wafike Narok easily asante sana Mungu awabariki shukuru sana kwa huu uh, mkutano kama uh, naibu wa uh, mwenyekiti kwa sababu tumeketi na tumesungumza vizuri e, wenye nchi wamekuwa watulifu na uh, maofisa wa KWS F pamoja na uh, wale wa Oserian pamoja na wale wa Geothermal tumekubaliana uh, jinsi chama ameweza kueleza na nataka kusema ninafurahi kwa sababu wale wa mama ambao walikuwa wanaangaika sana kupeleka watoto hospitali na wamama wakati wa kuzaa unajua kuzaa haina hodi inakuja tu wakati wa wote kwa hivyo uh, bwana director ile mambo umetoa leo kama suluhu ninafurahi kwa sababu hawa wa mama wetu watapata nafasi kushughulikiwa kwa haraka kwa sababu watakuwa wanabeba generation ambayo tunatarajia siku za usoni kwa hivyo watoto wetu ambao pia wanakimbizwa hospitali wataweza kufika kwa wakati mzuri na pia familia mama ndiye anayesimamia kwenda pale sokoni hiyo matatu peke yake itakuwa imeinua uchumi katika narasha kwa sababu wa mama huenda na bidhaa ndogo ndogo shanga zao wanaepeleka kule na kuweza kurudi mara moja kushughulikia familia kwa sababu mumewaruhusu kupitia ile sako matatu ziweze kuingia na rasha wapitie health gate ikienda naivasha na kuwarudisha nyumbani kwa haraka kwa hivyo hata uchumi hapa itaweza kunawiri kwa hivyo tunataka kushukuru sana tumeona ya kwamba tumepata kitu inaitwa win win situation katikati yetu kwa hivyo asanteni wote tumeshukuru